after COVID-19, there are a lot of things that happened here in Uganda. Actually, Uganda is one of the fastest growing countries in Africa. So today we will be looking at uh, those very things that Uganda has really done after COVID-19 and which lessons as we Ugandans have learned uh, after COVID-19. So come along with me as I take you through these developmental projects and the things that Uganda has really worked upon to see that it is moving from greater heights or to greater levels so stay tuned subscribe like the video and share with your friends what's up guys welcome and welcome back to another exciting video my name is harriet welcome if you're new here you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for joining and clicking yeah so as the title suggests in today's video i'm gonna be um showing you guys uh, what really uganda is doing you know after covid 19 there are a lot of things that have happened here in uganda my beautiful country so i am really very proud of my country what the government of uganda is doing so where i am standing here this is arena mall so arena mall is one of the beautiful malls that um after covid 19 it was launched and i really appreciate the place it has a uh, the beautiful things the ambience itself is very lovely and also they have different shops they have restaurants they have a uh, supermarket so if you want also to shop you can come to arena mall is one of the big shopping malls here in Kampala actually the mall is really new and uh, I can feel like yeah being at the center of the city is really very lovely and uh, Coming to the section of infrastructure, guys, Uganda has really done a lot. It has really done a lot. Where I am standing here, opposite me, there is um, uh, what we call the Kampala flyover. Uganda has really worked a lot uh, on their infrastructure. When you look at infrastructure in different places, uh, recently I was in western part of Uganda and really the roads were very appreciating and guys I showed you Bunyoro, the roads of Bunyoro, Hoima and also uh, to tell you the truth guys, I have moved all the regions in Uganda, be it western, eastern, northern, southwest, so the roads are really very, very lovely, very lovely. You can find potholes, you know. So I really appreciate our government, what they have done. It is really very lovely. I can really say that the city has really grown off Kampala. It has grown. It has been beautified. Uh, when you look at the Kampala of uh, 2015, 2014, previous years back, you can see that there is really a great change right now. A lot of things have happened and really the government has done a great thing and we all must to appreciate i can say that so when you look at the kampala flyover actually it is going to decongest the city you know that was the main reason or the main aim why the kampala flyover uh, project was uh, implemented so we also have the Nachivuvo war memorial stadium so which is under construction and actually it's almost to its completion you can see how beautiful the stadium is and actually we also have another stadium that is under renovation that is um, Nambole stadium so you can see that a lot has been uh, done uh, from Nachivuvo war memorial stadium recently when I was there they were installing that tough and i think now they are done so it's soon uh being used so really there is a lot that has been done here in uganda uganda is one of the fastest growing countries in africa yeah so guys um you can see that really the country is trying its level best to put itself on top <laughs> so we also have another project that is a uganda railway that is also under construction right now so there's a lot of things that is also being done over there i guess by next year the uganda railway will be completed and it will be on use and we also have the sgr that is also uh, coming so you can see that a lot and a lot a lot a lot is really being done and i am really very proud so when you look at also the the way of life of people the way of life of people has really really changed you know uh, after covid 19 actually a lot of things have told people have told me personally you know i used not to work online but when covid 19 came so this is the the thing the priority the thing that everyone actually looked upon like 
there was no way how you can um, be working. So the only thing was to look for jobs online. So it taught us a lot of things. I personally, I started working online, so which is really a good deal. It has taught us a lot. And I'm going to be interviewing also other people to tell me uh, how has COVID-19 changed them positively. I know every negative things comes with a positive thing. So here we are only talking about the positive vibes, not negative vibes, you know. Yeah, so I'm going to be talking to other people or what they have they learned uh, during COVID-19 or after COVID-19. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Ali. Ali? Ali. Okay, Ali. Yeah. So what do you do? Uh, I'm doing marketing. Oh, you do marketing? So do you work here? Yeah, I work here. Okay, are you a Ugandan? I'm a Ugandan. Okay, lovely yes. to meet you. Thank you. Okay, so you as a Ugandan, uh, how has COVID-19 impacted you as a person and also as our country, Uganda? Uh, personally, mm. uh, I'll start with me. Mm. Uh, it taught me about saving. Okay. Yeah. I started out saving of which by then when uh, COVID sparked off, mm -hmm. uh, we used not to save. Yeah. So we had some, some difficulties in providing for our families. Mm -hmm. So it taught me about saving. Uh, another thing. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, by the way, before you proceed, here in Uganda, a lot of people do not adopt the culture of saving. Everything that we work for, we spend, we spend, we spend, we spend, yeah, so really, yeah, I get it, it's really a point. Yeah. Okay. So another thing, uh, most people like uh, got some, some dating via, via online. Oh, online dating, online. yeah, actually lots of ladies, not only ladies, but even men have uh, uh, got their men, their mates, you know, online. And here in Uganda, we used not to have that culture of dating online, but now people have adopted that uh, Western culture of dating online, which is really good. It's good because uh, <laughs> as me, I also uh, had one. You also had one? Oh, really? Did you wait? I didn't wait, but uh, we are we're still in relationship. Oh, you're still in relationship. Uh, planning, planning ah, lovely. How is it on your side? Mm, it's good. Dating online? Dating online, it's good. Okay. Mm. So guys, you have heard from this lovely gentleman. Thank you so much Thank for you too. catching up. Thank you too. Okay. We also have a lot of hotels. So coming to the hotels, there are a lot of hotels that Uganda this one has really Marriott um, Hotel is constructed. Also like we have this new upcoming we also have hotel. It is called Marriott hotel. hotel. So there are a lot of the lovely of, uh, hotels that, that have been constructed, constructed here in, in Kampala. Kampala. But so also you can see that on the places, way of infrastructure yeah, on the so side of infrastructure, really there is a good lot deal. That so guys, this marks to the end of our video. If you have enjoyed, please make sure you subscribe like the video and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss out any of our videos thank you so much for tuning yeah and also follow me on my instagram if you haven't yet followed me so that you don't miss out any updates about uganda and also africa at large see you guys in our next upload bye guys love you all this isn't hurts